Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a really special day for me because I've been waiting to do this for a long time. So today I'm going to be upgrading my PC right here. Okay, and this entire video is going to be actually in two parts. First part would be me taking out all the parts from my current PC right now. And then the second part would be adding this. So uh, it's going to be really fun. I wanted to take you guys along in this process as well because <laughs> it's just fun diy tech is always awesome and i think it's gonna be a really good experience to share with you guys so the three parts mainly which i'll be changing today are my motherboard my graphics card and my cooler so basically you might think that what's left oh my god there's only a few things left inside so i'll be reusing the processor my drives and my power supply so these are the things which i'm gonna stick to but there's other things some of them are outdated which require changing like my cooler this cooler is a pretty old model actually it's the h45 from corsair and i've got a much more advanced cooler now so which i'll be putting it in here so i hope you guys enjoy this video along while you guys see it so yeah that's about it and uh, without wasting any time i think we should just get into building so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to be taking out all these parts from here and then uh, which is going to be in a time lapse of course i'm not going to be showing you the entire this thing and then the entire process and then i'll be cleaning the pc out a bit as you can see there's a lot of dust in this and because i haven't cleaned it for, for a while now and i needed to clean this about two months back but i was too busy to clean this i did not get time and now i finally got time so i think this is the right time to clean this thing before i put the new parts in so yeah uh, i'll be taking all the parts out cleaning them up and then i will start installing the new parts so uh, once we're done with the cleaning process and the uh, entire thing and once when i'm about to put my new parts in that's when i'll be introducing all the parts which i'm gonna be putting in so until then watch the video <laughs> have you know save that suspense for the end <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy it
So I was looking at some of the videos where people said how to clean thermal paste out of this. So they said you can use these or you can use a dry tissue paper. So first I'm gonna try cleaning it out with a single tissue paper. Without trying to damage it uh, or using any pressure on it. I have no idea what the previous builder did with this thermal paste. It's all weird and smeared if you look at it. You saw it last time when I showed it, so it looks all bad and smeared and it's coming on my hand as well, Jesus. So let's clean this out. Okay, I think I've cleaned it as much as I could with the tissue paper, but now I have to clean it very quietly with this. So this is going to take some time, so I will be putting it up in time lapse now. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, so finally the processor is clean as you can see. The 3600XT right there. Clean and as good as new. Now, before I start making the other PC, I have to clean this entire thing out. As you can see, there is so much dust right there and I have to clean all of that up. And then, yeah, I think that's about it. Because my cable management is pretty good at the back because I the last time when I changed my power supply unit, I did the cable management entirely again. So I think that's pretty good, but I'll still cable manage it as much as possible. So I hope, oh yeah, I will show you guys how to do it. So I hope you guys can cable manage your stuff, of course. So yeah. All right guys, so now we have finally cleaned our entire PC, all right? So I've cleaned out the case completely, I've removed all the parts. Now we will start the building process. <clears throat> so I have to switch out two things from my old motherboard to my new motherboard. So that's the processor and the SSD. So I have still left it on until I actually open my new motherboard, which is kept right here. It is the B550 Gaming Plus. So this is a really good solid board which has supports PCIe Gen 4 which is required for the new graphics card we've got and also it supports the new PCIe Gen 4 um, SSDs which I do not have at the moment, I'm not going to be using that but uh, certainly down the line I can use one of those, it supports the new 5000 series. I mean, it's not new anymore, <laughs> sorry. So it's supposed to be 5000 series uh, CPUs which were a generation after the CPU I have, so I don't have to worry about this. 
okay but um, yeah so i have a lot of uh, room to upgrade down the line which is pretty good so now i'm going to push you no know, open the box and take the stuff out So, as you can see, this is the new motherboard compared to the old one, slightly more modern, slightly more um, fixed one color, I would say. So, I kind of like it, it's just all black and there's no fancy colors, although there is a bunch of lighting in this specific area of the chipset. Um, apart from that, there is no lighting, like in the older motherboard, there was lighting on the side, I believe, over here but there's no lighting on the side, instead it's there on the chipset. And this is the full by four PCIe Gen, uh, this is the by 16 PCIe Gen 4 slot, which is gonna support my GPU. And this is the Gen 4 M.2 slot, which is gonna support my um, Gen 4 SSD. That's the AM5 socket, um, AM4 socket, which we all love. Um, six air ports here, and that's the ATX power connector. I think it's pretty much standard, rest of the things the same, except it's got a more beefy heatsink, and it has pre-installed IO shield, so I don't have to install the thing anymore. And yeah, that's about it. So I guess I'm gonna start get, get start building. Before that, I need to clean the processor out slightly a bit more, and as you can see, the dust around it. So I haven't moved the dust from there because you know, it should not settle on the processor. That's bad. So once the process is out, I'm going to dust the rest of it off. So while you guys <laughs> see it, I'm going to work. Bro, these gold contacts are so sensitive. I'm even scared to move these. And you have to handle it, handle it with a lot of delicacy. And I think there is a little bit of dust on the side, which I'm going to clean off with this cotton bud without touching even one of those pins. I'm just so nervous. So bear with me, I am not a professional and I'll just point the camera there, but I'll be looking down here. Perfect. It's in. Whew, that was, that was pretty easy. <laughs> oh my God, that was, that was pretty good actually. I like it, it's placed in firmly. I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think I am super confident it's gonna work. Um, let's finish out. Sorry. There you go. There it is. And I have to clean it a bit. As you can see, there's still a little bit of thermal paste left on it. So I'm just gonna clean it right now while I put the camera back on. <laughs> now I'm just gonna fetch my other screwdriver and take out the SSD from this and fit it onto the new one. And I'm just gonna close the socket over here. And I think this fits it. Yes, perfectly. Here's the SSD screw which I spoke of. I think I'm not going to use the SSD screw of my new motherboard. I'm just going to stick to the old one. So this is where we're going to be installing it. Sorry, my finger pointing is not very precise. Is this screw ever going to work? Yes, it will work. I have two different sizes of the screwdriver, so I'm not really sure which one will work and which won't. So yeah, bear with me, please. It's so weird making these videos vlog style because I've never done it before in my life. Oh, get off. This is the first time I'm actually filming a video like this, building an entire PC. So yeah, that's pretty fun. I think everyone should do this once in a while. There you go. That's out. It's heavy. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm just going to take the SSD very gently out of the old one. There you go. And as you can see that there are two notches in this because this is a SATA F3 drive and it's not an NVMe SSD but it still works in these slots which support all kind of this thing. So I'm just going to use a little force here and put this in. That's it. It's fixed in now. Now first I have to install this screw onto this here and then I'm going to install the cover and the back plate. Okay, now I don't know how, how I'm going to do that.
All right, so now we're going to install the liquid cooler which I've got. Yes, it is a liquid cooler, um, like the old one, but it's slightly bigger and better. This is the Fractal Celsius Plus S24 Prisma. It has all those ARGB fans which will match with the rest of the fans in my PC. And it's, but it's not very fancy either with the water block. It's a minimalistic looking water block. It has an RGB ring. I'm going to mostly sell it to one color because I do not like so much RGB as well, but still it's good. So it's a very silent one and it's a very high performance one. So it's going to keep my CPU times at a minimum. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is. I don't, I don't want to say I hope so because it is. So the good part about this is that this um, this um, radiator comes with a fan hub at the corner over here as you can see as mounted on the radiator itself which is incredible because that saves like a ton of cable management you know it's just more comfortable to do all the cabling once you're done with building the PC so I believe it's much better I guess so yeah. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to remove this Intel bracket pre-installed on this and I'm supposed to add this AMD mounting bracket on that. So let's get going with that. So as you can see, there's pre-applied thermal paste on that. So, I'm not, so I do not need thermal paste actually. And it's just so neatly pre-applied, I don't want to touch it either. <laughs> so you might want to avoid doing anything bad with that. And I'm just supposed to remove it, I think. On this direction, there you go. It came out and put this one on. Um, perfect, it's exactly lined up with the CPU, so I don't have to worry about that either. And how am I going to do this now? <laughs> okay, first let me take off the screw of this. Ah, damn, the zip bags. There you go. So this is the small screw which, will, which it will be mounted on. So the mounting system is actually pretty simple. I like it. Fantastic, it's completely tied down. Just one screw, you know, this is a really good mounting system. I absolutely enjoy it and it looks pretty good. There you go. And that's it. <laughs> it was pretty simple actually, I enjoyed it. This was one of the best, uh, the smoothest installation, better than four screws on the Corsair ones. Okay guys, we're back with our case here and we're going to start the case installation in just a bit. Um, before that, I have to actually install some of the components back in before I do that. So I'm just going to yank this off again. Okay. And I have to install the fans back first here. So after that, I'm going to lie the case down uh, horizontally and then I'm going to put the motherboard in there. Oops, it does not break anything, it does not break anything. Oh, I think they're perfectly aligned now. Yes, they're perfectly aligned, thank god. I have to hold this in hand, take out the screws. Let very gentle hands you need to screw them back on because you might crack your new motherboard and you do not want to do that. Yes, one. Sorry, the port process is going to be a little slow because we're not in, in, in a very really good position right now. Uh, 
I mean, I think so far the build has gone pretty good actually, so that's fine. I was not expecting this. I was expecting it to be tougher and plus me being nervous in front of the camera. I was not expecting how this was going to go, but it turns out to be pretty good actually. So, <laughs> 10 out of 10 till now. Actually, 9 out of 10. I was confused about the uh, CPU cooler installation a bit, but yeah, that's clear out of it. Now, so as you can see, the motherboard is installed in there and it looks pretty good. These tubes are, I know you guys might be thinking, oh my god, you're stretching it. So, um, I don't think it's a problem. It's pretty good to do that, so it's fine. Uh, now, what I'm thinking is I'm going to be installing the radiator from here, like this. Okay guys, so the cable management is almost done. I have installed the CPU up top and I did a little bit of more cable management at the back. I plugged in the front panel connectors which are extremely annoying as usual. And I think I am almost done. Yeah, it was pretty good. I think uh, the cable management took a little bit of time and I am more tired doing that because some of those connectors are really, really annoying. But uh, uh, and then overall this thing, it was pretty good. I enjoyed working on this um, entire build right now while well, it's not yet over. Uh, now we're reaching the final stages. Now I'll be installing the hard drives back in. I am not changing the drive at all. So This is my first drive which I got with the PC itself. Um, this is a 2TB Western Digital Drive. And this is the other one, it's the Seagate Barracuda. This is the 4TB drive. So yeah. I'm going to be putting these back up in the cage I might need to walk behind which will not be seen but you can get the gist of it so yeah Perfect. this is fixed alright so now we're just under the last component wow it's almost done sorry I cannot believe it I just did it so we're finally down to the one last component and that's the graphics card okay now <laughs> it's going to be quite the surprise Let's go fetch it. Okay, so the GPU which I have got, <laughs> you might be pretty surprised about this, and I still don't believe I have this. It is this. Yes, that's right, it's the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. Now, you might ask why I got the 3070 when I'm an AMD fan. Okay, so the thing is, I was getting the AMD 6700 XT for the same price as this. And this is significantly faster than the 6700 XT, all right? And I was, I was getting a really good deal, a deal on it, okay? It's not like I bought it for overpriced, uh, unmatchable prices or anything. Uh, I got it for a really good deal, actually. I got it for underpriced, actually. So thank you for that. Um, from wherever I bought it, I'm not going to reveal the name or the price, how much I got it for. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's a really good powerful card. It's in <laughs> second gen ray tracing, third gen, um, second gen DLSS, can almost run any game or uh, 1440p max settings. All, not even almost, I think it can run all game uh, games except like some like uh, Cyberpunk 2077 etc. But this is, a, this is a super card. So uh, as you know, I have actually changed my uh, monitor as well. So this is going to support the monitor as well. So. It's a pretty good option. I am very happy with it. It's from Zota Gaming. It's the Trinity Edition. I'm just going to unbox it in front of you right now so that you can see it yourself. I've actually opened it from here. All right, let's take this out. Okay, it's a heavy GPU. Okay, it's pretty big. I will actually 
surprised to see the size of it okay i've seen this gpu on camera on other youtubers channels and i was like okay that's small that's not very big but this thing is beefy okay so yeah let's just get this back in the box okay just gonna close the box now perfect let's keep the box aside so finally here it is it's the ms oh no my bad it's the zotac gaming trinity rtx 3070 ti isn't it a beast like look at this i was not expecting this thickness it's pretty it's a huge card it's very long it is very very heavy because of the intense heat sim going on over here so i'm pretty sure it'll stay very cool um, under load so yeah i'm expecting it to perform like if you want to see for comparison how big this is let me show you this compared to the 1660 super i had before there you go so this is the size of the 1660 super compared to the 3780i as you can see it's literally double the length and it's <laughs> very thick both the zotac gaming so that's good it's somehow i end up with zotac all the time i don't know why it's just but the products are really good i tend to use them so yeah, this 20 this 1660 super actually served me really well you know uh, out of apart from all the things i feel about this gpu i gamed on this for 1440p medium settings on microsoft flight simulator and i could handle that as well so i'm really really impressed by what uh, this gpu can do and yeah that's about it i think now i'm just gonna put the new gpu in and it's gonna be done so removing this plate from here and just politely okay this might be a little tough oh that's not gonna do this one second Power is installed. No, the extra access cable behind again. Perfect. Okay, so I think there's a little bit of a sag because of the length. I'll probably get a sag back to it. It should not come in the way. That's it. Perfect. I'm gonna put this back on because that's the part which is finished. Open <laughs> messed up as well. Oops, I dropped the 1660 Super on my table. Sorry buddy, I didn't mean to hurt you. 
Now for future reference if I want to put another fan at the back like for example this I'm not putting it in here it's gonna go perfectly in right here without interrupting the tube so I've left enough space there so that it does not interrupt any of the tubes so yeah there it is so this is the final build guys now let's test boot it first and to see if it's working properly or not happy about it so here it is guys finally in the flesh so I started this thing up I set up all the RGB fans and everything and now it looks beautiful like insanely good as you can see there's the 3070 Ti that's my new cooler and right there are those original fans which were always there so yeah the PC looks amazing and I'm, <laughs> I'm just loving it right now I'm just taking some time to soak this in so yeah that's been pretty pretty cool I love it and it's just insane I love the look <laughs> I don't know what to say, it's just so good. Okay, so it's been a very long day. I've been working for the past 3 or 4 hours on this now because I was a little slow so that I could record properly. This is my first time recording so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, this is the PC build finally. I will be posting some pictures um, soon and I hope you guys like it as well. So. Thank you so much for watching and um, I think this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>